Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mini review for business bank account. These are all UK business bank accounts. I know that finances, banking, all that stuff is not the funnest or the sexiest of topics, but it is very necessary. The first bank account I actually used was Tide. Tide is like a newer bank. It is a fintech bank, it's app only. And the only reason I actually joined them is because <laughs> They were doing this offer where if you deposited a hundred pound, they'll give you a hundred pound. I was like, boy, I mean, I don't have venture capital. <laughs> this is the closest I'm going to get. And I was just kind of like, might as well. Didn't really know what I was doing when it came to picking a bank account, a business bank account, sorry. And just felt like I don't have much to lose apart from a hundred pounds. So the pros I found of Tide were that it's really, really fast to set up. I don't know if you've ever set up an account with like a fintech based bank. You know that a lot of it is you kind of taking selfies and uploading documents and stuff but i find that to be a lot quicker than it tends to be with a lot of traditional banks i like the fact that it was app based it just made it really easy for me to like look at my finances and see how things were going i also found that their customer support was really really good like you would send a message get a ticket and you will speak to a human and it's kind of like just messaging on your phone because it was all app based and i found that the customer support was really really good because i kept chasing up that 100 pound because they didn't want to give it to me in terms of its cons some people would not like the fact that it was all app based um and now that i'm with uh, now that i'm with natwest i do actually prefer using my laptop when it comes to financing because you're a lot of time when you're doing your financial things you're probably using things like spreadsheets and there are probably other tabs you're going to need basically when you're looking between your finances and doing that that realm of business and i just kind of find it i prefer doing it on my laptop so i guess i can kind of see why some people would not like the fact that it was app based but the funny thing is i'm about to move to another app based bank so i guess it's not that big of a con for me another con is actually that they have fees so if you've never used a business bank account before it's not like a personal current account in that you do tend to have fees most of the time so you will tend to have fees for transfers for example for maybe using the debit card that it comes with i think sometimes even for receiving money so obviously that can really add up it looks like it's a small amount because it will be like a 0.5 percentage or something or one percent sometimes these fees but they add up a and b when i spoke to my accountant she was like tied when i said tied she was like their fees are mad if it's someone that's looking at different businesses bank accounts all day i'm just like you've seen what fees can look like so i knew that at that point i'd made the right decision to leave them um once i got my hundred pound they also i don't know if it's still the case but they also don't do international payments for example you wanted to pay someone that was based in another country like straight into their bank account that would obviously be a big issue um and maybe it's something that they've changed or they're planning to change very soon because i think that's a that's a major limitation then i moved on to natwest i actually did this based off of a recommendation like i said i didn't really know what to look out for when it came to a business bank account because it does come with like a free accounting software called free agent so if you're someone that does your own books and you don't want to pay for zero quickbooks for example it's very similar to one of those and this one it's it comes free with the netwest account so definitely i think that's a major major perk it's also fee free for your first 18 months as i mentioned before those fees can really rack up so that does give you leeway as you're building and setting up your business as to not having to pay these kind of extra expenses they're also super 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 secure it can at first i was kind of like oh, this is tedious but no especially because i've been the victim of fraud like personally so i know how these scammers can be and it's it's so secure i really feel like my money is safe there they make you do quite a few like security checks when you're coming to make big payments or big transfers they give you a lot of prompts uh you have a card reader there is secure in terms of the cons um i found that when i google reviews they've actually got a lot of bad reviews so i don't know if i've just had like a slightly better than usual experience also their customer service is quite slow especially in comparison to tide to talk to someone in the live chat can be really slow to call to call in can be really slow and obviously with the whole pandemic that hasn't been that hasn't helped either so i have found that customer service is slow so bearing in mind tide was also I was eating Tide also while it was a pandemic and I still found it really, really fast. But I think that's because it is at base, because it's newer. They obviously have a much smaller customer base than NetWest. NetWest is a huge bank and a huge established bank. So I guess that would play in as to why their customer service is so slow. 
and also it isn't fee free after 18 months and i'm coming up to that mark uh in the next probably like four or five months so i oh actually no i've still got some time but still yeah it's eventually not going to be fee free yeah, as i grow i'm definitely going to have to start paying closer attention to things like this and from what I've heard, their fees aren't the best either. So I'm moving on as to why I'm going to be moving to Stalin. Stalin was actually one of the ones I always wanted to move to, but I don't know why they make their onboarding process for when you don't really have like an established business quite difficult. Uh, why is it difficult? It was just a bit long or a bit long for the energy levels I had at the time. So now speaking to people that have a Stalin business account, they say it's just such an intuitive app. It really helps you like manage your finances. Also, they have invoked the best business bank account. I also, I work in banking and I know that they are known for having a really good customer experience. And I just kind of like really intuitive, easy to use apps. And yeah, my accountant also said that their fees are one of the better ones and it's one of the bank accounts that she does recommend to her clients. Now I know a bit more about what it is I'm looking for a business bank account, I am going to move. I don't know exactly when, it's not the top of my priority list right now. Like I said, NatWest is still fee free for me and it's doing what I need it to do. But that just makes sense for what it is I prefer in banking apps and what it is I'm after when it comes to managing my business's finances. And yeah, it's really, really well reviewed everyone that's on it that i know with the business bank account has said really good things so yeah i want to be part of that club but yeah i really really hope this was useful please do let me know if you have any other questions about my experiences with any of these banks don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i'll be back again with another video thanks for watching bye